Hey, welcome back YouTube to how to build an F-14 Tomcat. So, uh, still New Year's Eve. It's 11.20 here local time, so it's getting pretty close to New Year's. But, uh, as you see, I've got, um, basically canopy frame mold and the ventral fin. I've got those laid up. Uh, i got the pill pot put down, and I'm letting, uh, letting that stuff cure overnight. Um, the grayish stuff you're seeing... That's that Rust-Oleum silver metallic paint. So all these parts will come out painted just like the rest of them. Uh, Vendral fin, fairly simple layup. It's just a couple of pieces. Uh, um, I got a layer of two ounce and six ounce and two ounce cloth. So it's uh, 10 ounces total of cloth and a little bit of resin. Um, to make those pieces of fiberglass cloth to fit down in there fairly well. What I did is I just took a trash bag, I stuck the mold, one mold half in there, and the ventral fin case, I used the one without the NACA scoop. Um, I stuck that mold in the trash bag, and then I put my handy shop vac down there. I took the hose, stuck it in the trash bag, just took a, one of those uh, one wrap, kind of like battery strap holders. Had the shop back tube come under the mold and then I just got that uh that trash bag nice and tight around the shop back tube turned it on let it suck it down and then I just smoothed it out and uh once it was down nice and smooth I just took a sharpie traced around around it turned it off cut it out and that's how I got my trash bag the the plastic template what I'll do is I'll use this plastic one and I'll kind of fine tune it and then once I get it exactly like I'll exactly the size I need so I don't have any overhang in the mold I'll make this I'll remake this in a probably quarter inch tempered hardboard um, maybe a little bit maybe if I can find some like a oh like some formica sheet I think that stuff's like an eighth of an inch or so if I can find that stuff locally I'll make it out of that that way I can just take my rotary cutter and uh, I can put the template on the glass take the rotary cutter right up against the Edge of it, cut it out, and we're good to go. Yes, Samantha, would you like to say hello to YouTube? Say hi, everybody. <laughs> and of course, the other one has to get jealous as well. So, uh, back to the 14 ventral fin um, with the NACA scoop. I just took the same AdTech 301 laminating resin. Um, I put a little layer of uh, just plain epoxy uh, down inside the mold. And then I took some cabasil and I mixed it up until it was a little bit thicker than a mayonnaise consistency, but not quite peanut butter. And then I did Bob's little trick with uh, putting it in a little plastic baggie. Um, I just used some Dollar General brand. Actually, these are Hannaford. They're just sandwich bags. They don't have a Ziploc or anything on them. I think it was like a buck fifty for this whole box. So uh, anyway, I took the that epoxy cabasil mixture stuck it in there squeeze it into a corner cut the corner off squeezed it down in there with the epoxy already in the mold it kind of beads up on top of that epoxy so you have to take your finger and just kind of run a nice little fill it around it and then around the the NACA duct I had to blend it in nice so the, the cloth will lay down and conform and it didn't have to get all in the corners so I did that around the NACA duct and then in the corner here at the top and then back there at the trailing edge tip of it. I did, not, did that on both of them. So that was a fairly simple layup. Um, I'll let that cure for a while and I'll have to come back and trim along the top up here so I can uh, join them. Canopy frame, uh, like I said before, I cut this area out. As you can see, there's no glass cloth here. There's a little bit of overhang, but uh, this will make it a lot easier when I get ready to join the bottom half to the top half. I can trim that overhang off of it and I can actually get in here with finger and tools and uh, the little glue blob uh, pastry bag type thing in there to put it all together. The, I mean it's pretty much all six ounce cloth and a couple of layers here and a couple of layers there. This one I laid up a little bit different than the last one just to try and get a little bit more strength out of it trying some different uh weave orientations and stuff but the cloth is all the same 
Same with the, the bottom, just six ounce cloth, a couple of different uh, layers. The layup was a slightly different, same amount, just different, uh, different orientations from this one and the one that's on the airplane now. So uh, hopefully it'll end up a little bit stronger. If not, I'll go back to the other direction. And if, if I absolutely have to, I can throw some carbon in here. On this one, I may actually put some carbon toe along the inside corner down at the bottom and that'll give a little bit of rigidity and um, I may put a little bit of carbon back here on the, the production ones just to give it a little bit more uh, rigidity there so if if you want the operating canopy going up and down it gives you a little bit more a little bit more strength and a little bit more stiffness back there so um that's video number two for the day. Uh, I might get out here tomorrow. If the weather cooperates, I'm going flying. If it doesn't, I'll be out here working in the shop and I'll get this stuff joined and we'll get another video made up tomorrow. So uh, everybody have a happy new year. And until next time, have fun in the shop.